All right, just want to do a short video here talking about some uh, stuff I've been doing with the A to D converter and MP lab. So I'm going to open a um, project I've already made. This is a um, basic boilerplate A to D uh, reading program. So A to init just sets up A D con 0, 1, and 2, uses analog channel 0 for input, left justified. Um, a to D result and then I go into a main loop here where I basically read from the A to D converter and that's just that's just um, you know setting the go pin and waiting for the done line to go low and then reading the high result into the W register so I read the A to D value and um, mask off everything except the upper two bits and then make sure those two bits are set so in other words I'm looking for an uh, a digital value that starts with 1 1 which means that it's at least three quarters of the voltage range 3.75 volts so this is a low voltage detection loop right as long as the voltage is above three and three quarter volts I should just spin here if the voltage drops below this I'll come down to this line which I just have a set uh, breakpoint set on and then I'll go back into my main loop um, that's all that's going on here um, one trick is I need to clear the interrupt flag before I do this in order to interact with the widget that I've built but if you use interrupts to to read the AD that'll take care of itself so um, let me go ahead and build this and let me go ahead and run it and you can see that it stops right away because our, our default input voltage is zero volts so let me bring up my my slider and let me crank this voltage up and run this and now you can see my program is looping and if I drop my voltage down sufficiently far you'll see that my breakpoint gets hit right and it's detected the low voltage so let me turn the voltage back up and let me continue the simulation and let's see where the cutoff point is so I can come down here to up to 375 let's continue running um, we're running right now we're at 3.758 millivolts 7654321 3.750 exactly if I go down one more millivolt you'll see that we hit our breakpoint so it's detected the low voltage so this is just an example of of using um, an SCL script to to interact with um, with MP Lab, and the only setup is um, when you want to start this off, you have to add, um, in this case, 80.scl, and it basically um, you know, communicates with this widget it's written in Java and uses that to feed values into um, the analog zero pins. So lots of options we can we can use with this, right? We could make a slider panel that would feed all of the AD inputs, for example. Um, and we could set up, you know, different ways to hit the um, the digital input pins and so on and so forth. No easy way to get values out of here, unfortunately. So my my hope for setting up something like a simulated motor on the PWM outputs or a seven segment display to monitor memory, um, don't have a way to do those yet. But anyway, that's just what I'm playing with. All right, take care. Bye.